I'm speechless. Look at where I am. I am in the fantastic South Island of New Zealand on a dream fly fishing trip for big brown trout in super clear water in stunning locations. I mean, can you ask for anything more? It's just a fly fishing dream come true. So I just arrived in Queenstown this morning from Auckland, picked up a camper van, self-contained, making my way south and going to fish a bunch of rivers that I've always dreamed to fish. So join me and hope you enjoy. Let's get on the road and go and get some fish. Well, I've arrived at the first river. Look at that. This is a world famous brown trout fishery. The water is going to be clear and low. I'm quite high up in the upper reaches of it. And yeah, the drowned trout are going to be difficult. So one is all I want. If I get any more, that'd be fantastic. And then after that, it's on to my spot where I'm staying tonight. So let's see if we can get that fish. Somewhere there, I think I see a trout sitting quite deep. Um, I'm pretty sure I see movement, so I'm going to give it a cast. I really hope it's a trout. I'm not 100% sure, but I can see movement and I'm pretty sure it's a trout. I'm going to stick a longish dropper underneath that dry. I'm going to use a bit more bushy dry and then a long dropper with a fairly heavy nymph just because it's, uh, the fish seems quite deep down. So let's hope, see what happens. Really hard to see that dry. It's a good drift. I'm pretty sure it's a fish. Yeah, it's a drift. Try not to do more drift, not change the flight. Oh, yep, got him. He came far down for that. Woohoo! Awesome. Oh. Okay, he's gonna go. Upstream by the look of it. Oh, awesome. Feels like a good fish. Ah, came off. Busted me. Oh, just came off. Ah. Ah. Man, that was a good fish too. Did he bust me or did he just come off? Just came off. Ah, bit of a late set I reckon. Bit disappointing that I lost that fish, but the setup works. I spotted a fish, set my rig up, hooked it on a heron copper with a, about a two and a half, three mil tungsten bead and a blowfly dry fly. Took the nymph eventually once I got a good drift. And I hooked it and unfortunately lost it, so... So the cookie crumbles. Now I just need to find another one and keep doing the same. Till I get one to the bank. Well, I can see what I'm sure is another trout. It's on the other side of the river. I don't know if I'll be able to see it on the other side if I cross. So I'll try from here first. Let me try a little size 16. Air and copper. Because he's been a little bit potentially spooked. Not sure if I'm getting down now though. Mm. See I can't really watch the fish because Good draft. Come on. Oh, first 
cast wasn't the best. Yes, got him. Now I just need to keep him on. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Going upstream again. Going upstream again. And the same thing. Right. Awesome. Okay. So 16 here in copper under the dry. Feels like a good fish. Feels strong. I'm not used to the browns and the Norviden being strong like this. He's trying to beach himself on the other side. Well, he's going right up in the shallows on the other side of the riffle. Going up to the next pool by the look of it. Oh my goodness. I'm miles up in the top of the run here. Maybe I'll turn back downstream. Eventually. I'm downstream. Uh, I'm being quite careful as well. Need to keep it on. Okay, so now it's going downstream over the right. <laughs> it's awesome. I don't know if I can get him into a slow bit back further down. I'll try and get him in the shallows that I'm back here. Yes, 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 that's a beautiful fish. Ah. Oh my goodness. First South Island Brown and what a fish. Just look at that. <laughs> How awesome is that? Fantastic, so happy about that. Oh my goodness. Well, I initially thought I bungled that fish casting across the river like that and I thought I spooked it, but I think I just maybe just followed the fly across or something. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, all came together. Fantastic fish. Very, very happy about that. Well, welcome to my humble abode. Fridge, food, drinks and stuff. Storage. I'm going to be sleeping up there. Fruit. Oh, that's falling out crockery cooking, gas cooker, shower toilet, some camping gear, table and chairs. That's my home for the next six days on an epic fly fishing adventure. Be fantastic. Rodeo, I'm off to the next spot. Well, I've arrived at camp, got to do my camp registration. That's an important sign. Want to keep the Didymo out of here? Well, it's a lot busier than I was expecting it to be, I must say. It is a long weekend, it is Easter weekend, and it is school holidays, so I was expecting it to be a little bit busy, but this is a lot busier than I expected it. Hopefully they're not all fishermen. Uh, we'll see what uh, happens, and hopefully I can find the spot to myself tomorrow and catch some fish. Well, there you go. Steak and salad and coffee. Well, it's super early, it's the next morning. I slept up there last night and I quickly got up and moved the car to the spot that I'm gonna start fishing just to make sure that I get to the river first. So I'm a little bit early. I start getting ready, get into my waders, get organized, get my rods set up and stuff, make some breakfast and then head off up the river and see if we can find some fish. Well, it's still pretty early and I'm just waiting for the sun to come up a bit more, a bit more light on the water so I can see into it. In the meantime, I've set up the rod, still fishing the six weight V top and the Trapper Spider Reel with a performance floating line. This is a six weight setup, and I have a nine foot tapered leader onto that with a probably three or four feet of uh, 4X onto that. And that goes to a little blow fly, dry fly, and I've got about a three foot dropper to a size 16 here in copper. I always have my dropper to there in copper <laughs> and that worked yesterday so no idea here that's just my starting setup I'm gonna try and spot fish if I can um, and that's why I'm waiting for the Sun to come up so hopefully we'll get onto some fish soon 
But the kettle is boiling again in the meantime. Okay. So I've actually decided to quickly change to an indicator rig just because the sun's going to take a while to come up and I am quite keen to fish. So I've just got a double nymph indicator rig, a light setup so I can see. And I'm just going to fish a few spots blind and see what happens. There's supposed to be reasonable numbers of fish in here, so don't see why not. See a weird shape there, there. Looks like it could be a fish. Yes, it is a fish. Straight up. I wonder what it is. We're sitting in a brown type position. I have no idea. I'm just gonna want to go downstream, I think. If I can keep him up, that would be awesome. Looks like a reasonable fish. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. That's fantastic. Wow. How cool is that? Just spotted a shape in there. What is it? What is it? Is it a brown? It's a brown. It's a nice brown. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Jump him up. He took the little heron copper. just awesome <laughs> how fantastic is that that is just awesome absolutely awesome how cool is that just straight up early on beautiful fish just a stunner that is a lovely fish oh my goodness just look at that <laughs> man can't ask for a better start to the morning that is fantastic I'll just quickly come back to the van just to warm up a bit. My hands are frozen after that fish. Just waiting for that line of sun to start hitting the water. And then I will really be able to see and it will be a lot better for me um, to be able to see the fish. I was very lucky seeing that first fish just as I was fishing. I fished that run further up and no luck. A blind fishing I don't think it's going to be a particularly good thing today. So yes, let's hope that sun hits the water soon. and get about and get some fish. Should be able to see him there. Moving about actively feeding. I think this is going to require a change to a dry dropper. We looked at the dry. We looked at the dry. Put one more cast over him. Maybe I'll look at the nymph. Okay, he looked at the nymph. Refused the nymph and the dry. Change time. Okay. Going for a size 16 pheasant tail. Okay, the dry. Ah, oh, came right towards me. Fly came out. Ah, oh, didn't get a good hook set. Ah, oh, ate the dry. Awesome though. Oh, that was painful. Perfect dry fly eat. Struck. It came right towards me racing, and I just didn't get a good hook set. Fly came out. Oh well, that's good though, keen to eat, if I can get them uh, without spooking them like the first lot. I quite possibly see a fish, I'm not 100% certain, a little bit glary on this side. And it's just sitting, well what I think is a fish is sitting where there's a lot of glare but it is moving so 
There must be a fish. That's a little bit to the side of it. Where I thought I saw it. It's again in the wrong place. Let's see if I can see the movement again. the dry it was a fish yes like the dry that is awesome wonder what it is oh, it's gone through to the numb oh so it's not well hooked now flossed them took the dry it's not well hooked I guess he took the numb first a rainbow, a nice rainbow. Nice rainbow. <laughs> nice, that's a beautiful rainbow. That's a lovely rainbow. Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Wow. My first South Island rainbow trout. How awesome is that? Fantastic. Get him away quickly. Well, that was really nice. Really nice dry fly eat. Oh, I did floss the fish through and hook them still in the mouth with the nymph. Um, but yeah, it was really cool to watch that fish come up, smash the dry, and hopefully we see more of that. That's two fish that's taken the dry now. So yeah, looking forward to more. Let's go. Unfortunately, the wind is coming up and I really had to struggle with the long leader. So I'm hoping my shortened leader will do the trick and I'll be able to get some fish, but it's quite short now. It's only nine foot and I don't know if that's going to be able to work here, but I can only try. I couldn't turn over the 12, 15 foot leader before, so if I can't turn it over, I, it's pretty much pointless. So I'll try different setups. Might go to a poly leader if I really can't turn it over. But anyway, once I changed it over, I cast it right on top of that fish and gone. Oh well. I spotted a fish from the other side. And it's, oh, it's feeding on the surface in the shallows. It's again still super windy. It's feeding right out in the shallows. Almost lined in, but... Now the dry fly has sunk. Kind of a doggo now, which is a bit of a worry. Just going to put a streamer past it. And see what happens. Okay, it's coming, it's looking. <laughs> I chased the streamer all the way. Spotted another fish in the shallows. Changed my rig to just to dry. Wind's not quite as bad as it was. Way too short. At least I can turn this over. He took it, took the dry, perfect eat. Perfect eat. That's fantastic. Oh, it's a good fish too. I hope I can keep it on. Really, 
Yeah, but you better. Oh. <laughs> that was an awesome dry fly eat. It was a little marsh brown parachute with a Kakari Queen parachute. I think it's a marsh brown parachute. Oh, this is a strong fish. Please stay on, please stay on. watching it come up for that dry just think she's a bit down managed to wait long enough and not get too nervous and now I'm super nervous to try and land this beautiful fish that's a stunning brown Whoa. cool jump That is a stunner fish. <laughs> oh my god, that is a beautiful fish. This is fish of the trip so far. Just look at that fish. Absolutely awesome fish. Just a fish of a trip. Oh my goodness. Oh, that pool is going to live in my memory for a very long time. A big brown trout came sipping up, took that dry perfectly like you can only dream of <laughs> it's, just, it's amazing and it was a really nice fish and on a size 14 March brown parachute I think it was from I love fly fishing so get one of those that's fantastic oh that was good that was so good I really uh, really am happy about that just look at these surroundings like just look at it 360 that's just amazing Spectacular place, spectacular fishing. Can't say anymore, that's just the best. It's gonna be very difficult, it's very glassy. Not even coming down, cruising down. That's uh, awesome. Damn, that was a horrible landing. Oh well, that's pretty cool if you can see him here, spooked him unfortunately. Hmm, pretty cool though, I didn't know my chances of catching this fish. <laughs> yeah, no. super spooked now, oh uh, well, I did try. It was sort of once I look at it a fly, so anyway. Well, it's a shame I couldn't get that brown, but it was a bit of a difficult situation. Don't mind too much because that previous one was fantastic. That's the end of this leg of the trip. I'm off to another campsite now next to some lakes, and then I'm going to fish another river tomorrow. So really looking forward to that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, there's a lot more coming. And uh, subscribe to see all of those. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.